What's up, B2 Capital G here. I got some cute Yu-Gi-Oh for you, and this was actually surprisingly a really good duel. I think it's because both of these decks are just completely born and bred low tier for life. We got Roids at the top. He's running all the Roids, just like uh, Cyrus from Yu-Gi-Oh GX. And then we got Cloudians, which some people associate with Ice Barrier in League of, you know, like the worst decks of all time. Cloudians looking to make a statement, looking to say we're not the worst artists archetype ever and yeah this was actually a pretty entertaining duel don't expect to see basically any meta cards in this duel because these are two very pure variants there won't be any hand traps no gammas ash blossoms like expect all the plays to basically go off unopposed let's go ahead and roll it and if you don't know anything, if you don't know anything about cloudians they're basically revolving around counters they can't be destroyed by battle but you can't put them in defense mode if i'm not mistaken these are both like gx archetypes which another cool thing is you won't really see any hard ones per turns because those really didn't exist <laughs> cloudians might be 5ds but i forget on it. i feel like maybe they are 5ds so he's gonna get two copies of cloudian smoke ball He's going to attempt to fix his hand with Moray Greed. Activates White Elephant's Gift to get rid of that uh, Smoke Ball. And then goes into a Tornado Dragon. Not looking actually that bad. Now, this is actually one of the ways of protecting your Cloudians. You activate uh, Sanctuary of the Sky. Makes it so your uh, Fairy Monsters can't take any damage. That means you can keep them in attack mode and your opponent really can't destroy them. Let's see exactly how Roids are going to fight back. Silver Gadget in the Submarine uh, Roid. Going to activate Gear Gigant X attacks over the tornado dragon without playing any back row very very smart and a decent uh i would say a decent counter now he has the turbulence cloudian that summons the smoke ball back not a hard one's for turn again so he activates it twice goes into skull dread i was like oh snap we got some link plays now he didn't activate the draw effect because he, he can't the deck's not is not that good man if you summon skull dread in this deck like that's pretty much like the epitome of a pop-off for this uh for cloudian so no way he's gonna have four different names to be able to activate the draw effect so he just has to settle with that Mixeroid is going to come down, and he, then he throws Armoroid on the field, and since Armoroid got pumped up by 300 attack, it's actually able to run over the Skull Dread. So, even though Skull Dread did a little bit of work, it immediately gets blown up. And let's see exactly how the uh, Cloudians are going to fire back. Okay, so he doesn't really do anything. This is Cloudian Atlas, I believe. Yeah, they're all named after Light Clouds. He goes for Thousand Eyes Strict, tries to activate the effect, falls into Divine Punishment, because he has Sanctuary of the Sky on the field. He's going to attack directly with his Submarine Roid. I feel like i'm almost certain that uh that cyrus used that in a duel on um he do it against like some plant chick or something like that anyways back to the duel he activates uh the effect to discard a card that is in, in his opponent's hand and then goes for one of my favorite cards ragna zero which actually gets a draw and the pop so shout outs to rio from uh zaxobarian arc I love that card. I think Ragnar Zero is still one of the most underrated cards. This time, he's going to activate Polymerization after Instant Fusion. Goes for the Sky Base, and now, check this out. He's going to move it into a different monster zone, and that is a pretty hard monster to kill, as it is 5,000 defense, and I think he'll be able to answer the other Roid in defense mode, but I'm not sure if he'll be able to get rid of that. He discards another card out of his hand. He runs it over, but check this out. He uh, he says, man, one mobile base is not quite enough. I got two. Bust out the Gustav now and i believe ragnar zero is going down he still does not take any damage because it is a fairy type monster so uh sanctuary of the sky is actually helping him out here and I was wondering how he was going to get rid of Gustav Max, but uh, no, it actually really, really easily, as is uh, Cyril Stratus, is actually just going to get rid of it off field. Now he goes into Abyss Dweller, and look at this. Can he actually close the game out? He's close. Not quite, though. He does not quite have the damage, even with the Abyss Dweller uh, pumping every monster up, but he ends up dead drawing another copy of Express Roid, and he knows that he can't answer. What was the face down? Oh, yeah, it was, a, I think, I feel like that was just a, a like a, a bluff salvage the entire game or something like that i feel like that salvage was down there for quite a while but anyways i feel like that was i mean con considering the two decks that we had you know roids and uh you know cloudians i feel like that was as close to a pop off as you're basically gonna get so hopefully you guys enjoyed this nice little low tier for life duel if you did give the video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already turn on that notification bell for daily videos